It's Tuesday, October 26th. I'm Natalie Del Conte and it's time to get loaded. Sony has dropped the price of the PSP Go from $249 to $199. This price drop happens in Japan and the US. Although the PSP Go was never a big game changer in portable gaming, so I'm not sure it will make much of a difference, but it's just about the holiday time, so cheaper price may move some models. Another device getting a price drop, the Kobo e-reader. The device which accesses Borders Electronic Bookstore went from $129 to $99 this week. Borders says that this is only for the holiday season, although I would be surprised if the price did go back up, considering it's hardly selling like gangbusters. And Samsung's Galaxy Tab will launch on November 14th on Sprint. The device will cost $399 with a two-year contract. It comes in a 2-gig and 5-gig model with messaging plans ranging from $30 to $60 per month. Last week we learned that Verizon would also carry the Galaxy Tab as well, but they will not require a contract. And this may be a sign that 3D TV has jumped the shark. The Rachel Ray Show is doing a 3D Halloween special that lets viewers see the show in 3D whether they have a 3D TV or not. A special type of glasses will let the show go third dimension. They're made by a company called 3D Vision. The show airs on Friday and you can find your special glasses in TV Guide. And a little internal news. If you have an iPhone, please download the CNET TV iPhone app. It launched over the weekend and it's a more direct way to catch up on all of our grade A shows here on CNET, which obviously you like if you're watching this show. So please do get the app and Android users hang tight. We haven't forgotten about you. Also, CNET has recently partnered with NPD Group to launch a tech enthusiast panel. We want you to join in and ring in on what you think of the gadgets on the market. When you do this, your input will influence manufacturers directly. This is confidential information. We promise not to share it. So please join up at tellusabouttech.com. Those are your headlines for today, but we are expecting the release of a new Barnes & Noble Nook later today. We don't know for sure that it's a Nook, but we think it's a new color screen e-reader. We'll let you know for sure tomorrow. I'm Natalie Del Conte for CNET.com, and you've just been loaded.